Welcome back, everybody, to AM 1220 KHTS. You're listening to Mind Your Own Business with Doug and Ed. And Ed, you know what? Our producer, Tilo, she wanted to have her own little segment. So, you know, since we're not paying her much, we've got to let her have a segment. segment. So we're calling this Tilo's Tidbits. All right. Thanks, Doug. So in this Tidbits, we're going to talk a little bit about Valley Publications, Ed's company, a little... Doug's company, a little bit about 25 score, and a little bit about what is going on in Santa Clarita this weekend. So, Doug Sutton's company, Valley Publications, is busy putting together the February issue of the Canyon Country Magazine. This issue features Jim Baker, Jim Backer, and his exciting development with Vista Canyon. This incredible project, located next to the Santa Clara Riverbed, will include restaurants, hotel, movie theater, shops, housing, parks, and more. This will be a huge benefit to the Canyon Country area. Read all about it in the upcoming issue of the Canyon Country Magazine. And as usual, check out each week's issue of the Santa Clarita Gazette and Free Classified, featuring free news, sports, Doug's rant, and all kinds of money-saving stuff. The Valley Publications is your interesting community connection. Thanks for that, Doug. And for 25 Score, we just wanted to let you guys know about our next Lunch Mob. It's going to be next week. Tuesday, February 5th, a new day, a new time, Tuesdays from 1 to 3, and it will be at Tilted Kilt. And our speaker this month is Lou Esben, who will be talking about bankruptcy law. Also, Louise Moore, uh, talking, getting us into the Valentine spirit, and PK's Chocolate will be offering our delicious dessert. Uh, so, going on in Santa Clarita this weekend, make sure you guys check out the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Celebrate Life Festival, Health fitness, wealth, and leisure for a better life. It is this weekend, February 2nd and 3rd. Uh, our next guest might be telling you a little bit more about it as well, but it's um, at the old TV Fair Fan Building, 25300 Rye Canyon at Scott. 25 Score will have a booth. Ed will be there. Doug will be there visiting. And come check out all your favorite merchants. They'll also have drawings, specials, freebies, blood drive, medical screenings, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Last but not least, I wanted to tell you guys about the Rep's new uh, play for this month. It's the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. It is running January 25th through February 23rd, Fridays and Saturdays at 8, Sunday matinee at 2. Ed, did you get a chance to check out this play yet? Well, actually, I went into cold sweat. I went opening night, and the minute they said it was a spelling bee, I was afraid I was going to fail something there. But it was yeah. hysterical. We had a great time. And uh, opening night, I've never gone to an opening night with the rep. It's really kind of fun. It's a little more of an occasion than the regular play. But it, it is, Main Street has really become the place to be. And uh, Atna has done a good job promoting it. We're going to be doing more of it. And Ed, we have two theaters Atna? down there. Atna Old Town New Hall, it's the acronym. I love acronyms. <laughs> Everyone know. knows I love mm -hmm. acronyms. My name is an acronym. But um, you should go uh, go down and uh, call the rep and get tickets. You get $5 off with your 25 scorecard. It's a pretty hot deal for some live theater. And take your sweetheart there. Hey, and speaking of the Chamber of Commerce, why don't you introduce our next guest? The next guest is famous in my mind. Uh, Fred Arnold. Uh, actually, Fred Arnold introduced me to uh, any kind of live broadcasting. I was on his show a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. He helped get the word out that 25 Square was still alive and kicking. And he is currently the president. Is it president? or Chairman. 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 I always get, I can never get the high title there. Mm -hmm. He's the chairman of the, the Santa Clarita Chamber of Commerce, which I'm ha very actively involved with. And I am so excited about him being there. Um, so, Fred, tell us a little bit about, you know, are you excited about it? Oh, very excited. Well, Doug's on our board. He's on our executive committee. Yeah, my... Ed's my a big sponsor or a big participant. Fred's my boss. We're a reciprocal sponsor. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He's a taskmaster too. Man. You know, the Chamber of Commerce has been around for almost a century. I mean, isn't that amazing? You think about the city and them meeting very, you know, very early days on Newhall, the Newhall Cut Avenue. Wagons going out. Unbelievable. And uh, the tradition, and we have 1,100 members here in the Santa Clarita Valley, and we help. We help on behalf of all, all of our businesses, promote business within, but also help protect businesses. Right now, the engine of this economy is small business. And so uh, we are about protecting business here in the Santa Clarita Valley. Which, how do you measure in on Sharon's complaint about the block lettering versus 
the boxes with lights. Did you hear talk about? It? No, uh, I didn't hear the about that. Chamber help that. with that kind of stuff. No, uh, uh, well, here? it depends if it's a, <laughs> it depends if it's um, good for the community and good for business. If it's something where if it's something where government is trying to prevent business from growing and it's unreasonable, we're probably going to speak about it. If it's uh, more of a tit for tat, if you will, because someone doesn't like the way a sign looks or doesn't like the way something is said or you know something like that, we don't worry about it as much if it's political in nature. But if it has to do with commerce here in the Santa Clarita Valley, if it has to do with great business, if it has to do with employee protections, if it has to do with um, continuing to grow business and not stifle business, we're gonna we're gonna have a say in it. Now, I think a lot of people listening don't realize mm -hmm. who you're supposed to talk to if you have an issue that you want to do. Will you recommend that you start with the chamber, you go to the city? I mean, sometimes they feel like it's going on deaf ears. I imagine 1,100 people, if they're riled up about it, probably has more weight than one guy if it's realistic that it's something that should be changed. Who do they talk to? You know, the, the positive start is, uh, is the Chamber of Commerce. The only reason why is we kind of have an open line of communication with the city, the city of manager, um, and, and that's really important, the mayor, um, Keller, uh, along with uh, Cam Striplin. Um, also, Terry. Terry Crane goes to a lot of the city council meetings. She understands business here in Santa Clarita Valley. She's connected with the VIA. She's connected with the AD EDC. And that allows us the opportunity that if you have a challenge, we might not be able to solve your problem. Maybe you need to solve it yourself, but we can connect you with the right individuals to help get some answers on the challenge you're having. And again, if it has to do with stifling business and it's not reasonable, you're we're, probably fight gonna, for it. we're probably going to take a stand on it um, because that's what, that's what we are. You're gonna be at the event Saturday and Sunday. Absolutely, all day long. Standing oh. next to me in my booth. I will. I will be supporting you at your booth in between <laughs> soccer games, basketball games, and everything else we got. Work-life balance, Fred. We talked about that earlier. That's right. You, you've got a good balance on that. That's hey, Fred, right. can you hang around over the break? I'd love to. Okay. Thank you. All right, everybody. You, you're listening to Mind Your Own Business with Doug and Ed. We got Fred Arnold on, the chairman of the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce. So, what's the name of your day job, Fred? American Family Funding, mortgage professional uh, with American Family Funding. And the name of your TV show? Out of the Rough. Let's help get uh, those out of the rough and into success. All right. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> Thank you.